All right, forgot to start recording, but all I done was made sure my uh, lines uh, marked up right. Uh, paint lines, they're right here on the side, and just slid this uh, carden yoke here on and put a cap in, just started pressing it. Took a break and cut the camera off and totally forgot to start it back. I'm just slowly taking my time pressing this on. That's all I'm doing. Definitely take your time. You don't want to mess nothing up. How close are we? We're right there. That should be perfect, actually. Flip it over. Yep. Dead on it. Make sure we're in there. There we are. That's what we was looking for. All right, we'll check all four sides. Yeah, that's in. Again, whack everything with a hammer so these caps will see. Then we get to start on the CV ball. And I dread this crap. It ain't my favorite thing to do, I can promise you that. All right, we're gonna put our CV ball in and I'm gonna go ahead and pack this right here full, full of grease. That way you ain't gotta pump as much in when we get done. Here's our CV ball. Pull that spring right there out. Well, you can leave it in for now. Ain't no big deal, actually. And you want this to go about even right there with that lip. It's the not this lip right here, but this next one down. It should stop though. You'll go till you can't go no more pretty much. Drop it in there just like so. Get us a socket that fits this uh, outer race right here. And start hammering. Keep an eye on it. Try to get it in as evenly as possible. Next, we're gonna put our seal in. Just place it down like that. Huh. 
<sighs> well, that done it. Make sure we're in there. Thing right there wanted to be a pain. Alright, we'll gonna pull our spring out. This right here is a piece of cardboard. You gotta pull it out. Don't forget that. Got all them little needle bearings in there. <clears throat> Just like a U-joint cap, basically. All right. Let's get uh, another U-joint and dry shaft here. All right, slide this in. Well, I guess I need to take his cat, these caps here off. Or it ain't gonna fit in. All right, if you look right here, well, right there, got to take that spring we pulled out, stick it in there just like so. What we got to do is get the spring and the center of that shaft inside here while getting the U-joints through the yoke. And I hate doing this Parts. It can be a pain in the butt sometimes. So remember, we got our line. We got our line right here, so it's got to go in this way. Alright, there 
we go. Just tilt this right here back. Then I forgot how to do this crap. It's been so long. Yeah, just move your U joint around a little bit. There we are. Now. Under caps. Yeah. Again, make sure your needle burns are all lined up right. I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm glad this is over. Now, I'm gonna smack this here with a hammer on all four sides to break these right here, you know, let them, so they're not seized up any, or more relaxed, and then uh, I'm gonna throw this back in the truck. All right, guys, I'm not gonna put the dry shaft back in right now because I've got to replace the seal on the front uh, pinion, uh, front axle the pinion seal so there's no point in me putting this back in but put this back in reverse order bolt everything up snug it down but put some uh, thread locker on all your bolts all eight and on the carding yoke side which goes the transfer case you want to i got it down here you want to torque them down it would be yeah, 65 foot pounds. That's on the transfer side, transfer case side. So yeah, definitely 65 foot pounds. And then on the front to the front axle, you want to torque them down to 21 foot pounds. Now I know 20 foot, 21 foot pounds ain't a lot, but you gotta remember it's that torque bolt that goes in the front. So you go cranking on that 65, 70 foot pounds and you're gonna strip it. So, and I buy, I got all kinds of these books. I buy them for every vehicle, just so I'll have the torque specs because I don't trust anyone online, really. Or unless I really know them. So you look right here, here's your proof. Dry shaft to front axle, four wheel drive. You can see right all right there what it says. 2004 and later models, 2,500 and 3,500 models, 21 foot-pounds, 
see foot pounds is up there. So if y'all want to pause that, y'all can look at that right there. And if you go here, let's see, where's it at? Front dry shaft, two transfer cakes, four wheel drive, 2004 and later models, 65 foot pounds. I'll hold that there just in case you want to look at it. Let me pause it for a second. All right. I see it right there. Um, like I said, put, make sure you put thread locker on all the uh, fasteners and go driving to see how it runs. <clears throat> if you got a vibration, then you know you've probably done something wrong. So just investigate it. Uh, I don't know how to tell you how to solve that problem. Just start taking crap back apart or looking where it's bind, bind up at. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna get on here and say this was awesome. I hate doing the carding joints or yeah, I, ha I hate them. So, but I'm not paying nobody to do it. I promise you that. <laughs> and I redone all this, all Spicer stuff, except for the CV ball was Moog. And uh, I probably got 130 bucks and everything versus buying an aftermarket dry shaft. It might not last long. All right, guys, thanks for watching.